Here's an example. Consider the circuit shown in the figure. Using the Kirchhoff's rules determine the currents I1, I2, and I3. So we have I1 here, I2, and I3. So basically, kung mag-solve mo Kirchhoff's, you have to that uh, assume current directions and then loops kung if it's clockwise or counterclockwise. So we'll just have to evaluate first kung nabe junctions and determine them kung junction ba. So A is a junction, B, C, and D. So these are junctions. And then next is ang current. So pag assume sa current directions is ang imhang boundary sim currents will be the junctions. So for example here, your 3 amperes flows across 4 ohm resistor taman dali ah, sa C. Okay, so your 7 amperes also flows taman rapod sa BC, jun BC junctions. Okay, and then your I2 is taman rapod siya sa BD junction. I3 is simply across 6 ohm resistor pa you'll have a boundary niya kay DC junctions. And your 2 amperes, yaha, is here from D pa ingon ng A. Okay? So, muna naman, ano? So, ang next nato is loop directions. So, I'm going to um, use here a counterclockwise na loop or loop 1. So, I'm going to say kani ako ang flow. Okay? And then, even for my loop 2, so, pwede clockwise sa 2 ang Gamitin diri A for loop 2. And lastly, for loop 3, pwede po na clockwise, loop 3. Okay, so manan na. So, um, di pa nga yung for A is I1, I2, and I3. So, if you'll notice na na may current directions, we're going to use jun junction rule to junction A. So, again, we're going to use junction rule to junction A. Okay, so one tendency is that you'll have here, your I1 approaches junction A and even your 2 amperes. So meaning to say, I1 plus 2 amps, and that would be equivalent to 3 amperes. So meaning to say, your I1 is simply 3 minus 2, that would be equivalent to 1 amp. Okay, so we need to say we already have the value for your I1. Okay, next is your junction B. We will apply again junction rule to junction B. So, the um, tendency is that we'll have here, okay, junction B. So, 7 amperes is approaching the junction. So, 7 amps is equal to I1 plus I2. So, you'll have I1 plus I2. So, at the end, see, we have a, our value for your I1. So, we need to say your I2 is equivalent to, we'll have 7 amps minus 1 amp. And that is equal to 6 amperes. Okay. So, we need to say this is 6 amperes. Okay. So, we'll have last for our I3. Okay, so your I3 flows here, paing on the rail. So this is your I3 for that junction. And then your uh, 3 amperes approaches here. Okay, so meaning to say we will apply junction rule also to junction C. So junction C. So we'll have here um, I3 plus 3 amperes is equal to 7 amperes. Therefore, your I3 is simply equivalent to 4 amps. Okay, so 4 amps then is siya mga bata. Uh, use junction D for this case. Not to look for or to solve for um, I3. That would be 2 amperes. Uh, yeah, we, we'll just have to solve na lang just to confirm that they are the same. So you'll have we could use junction D. So you'll have here I2 is equivalent to I3 plus 2 amperes. Okay. So looking or solving for your I3, that would be I2 minus 2 amps. So making it 6 minus 2. 
So, still, that would be equivalent to 4 amps. So, similar lang o answer. Okay. So, yun na siya now. Next, at the taog, uh, letter B, find or determine the voltages E1 and E2. So, can you hear? So, what we're going to do is to use loop rule. Okay. Nagamit naman tan natin tan ng mga junctions. So, we're going to use loop 1 and loop 2 to solve for your EMF 1, EMF. So, sulit, si loop 3, hindi natin siya magamit. No? Tungod kayo wala mga values sa resistance R. So, ang tendency is that here, we're going to use loop rule to loop number 1. So, we'll have here. So, we can start sa EMF 1, sa battery. So, from negative to positive terminal, making it positive E1. Next. You'll have same old direction in hang loop and your current, so 3. So you'll have negative 3 amperes times 4 ohms. Okay, next is that same gap old direction, ang um, current na 7 amperes, making it negative 7 amperes times 3 ohms. And then equate that 1 to 0. Okay, so your EMF therefore is simply equal to um, transpose this to the other side of the equation. So you'll have 12 volts minus 20, uh, rather positive 12 volts plus 21 volts, making it equivalent to 33 volts. Okay, so this is the value of our EMF 1. Next is we're going to solve for E2. Okay, well, we're, go we're going to apply loop rule to loop 2. Okay, apply loop rule to loop 2. So you'll have here, this is a clockwise direction. So I'm going to start here at E2. So negative to positive, so making it positive E2. Next, you'll have minus uh, 6 ohms. And then you'll have here, I3 is equivalent to 4 amps. Next, and then you'll have here minus 7 amps times 3 ohms. Okay, and then equate that 1 to 0. So therefore, your E2 is simply equivalent to move this 2 to the other side of the equation. So making it positive 24 volts plus 21 volts. So making it equivalent to 45 volts. Okay, 45 volts. And next, for letter C, determine the resistance R. Okay, so with this, we're going to use loop number 3. For number 3, it's asking for the resistance R, so we're going to use loop number 3 for this case. So, uh, we'll have here, apply loop rule to loop 3. So, we'll have... E1, which is positive, right? Next, you'll have plus 2 amps times R. And then you'll have minus E2. And then equate that 1 to 0. So we're going to solve for R. So that would be making it E2 minus E1 over 2 amperes. So you'll have 45 volts minus 33 volts divided by 2 amperes, so your values in among R would be equivalent to 6 ohms. So this would be 6 ohms. Okay. Next would be, it's asking for letter B, the potential difference between points A and B. Okay, so for letter D, it's asking for the potential difference between um, points a and D. So, mara mo na Kirchhoff's rule. So, there are many paths na you can use. Pwede kanina path. Okay. Or pwede kanina path. Okay. Kani, or pwede po kanina path. Basta there are many other uh, solutions na you could uh, use or para makuha ninyo ang final answer. So, all you have to do is simply you have here, uh, you have E1, this will be negative, okay, pa, ito sa negative na terminal, so negative E1, and then you have plus E2. So, making it negative 33 volts 
plus 45 volts. So that would be 12 volts, huh? answer and potential difference across points A and D. Okay? Or pwede po lahi. Pwede po lahi nga pa itong gamitin. Pwede uh, kani. Okay, so you'll have here um, same objections ang kanat na. So you'll have negative 12 volts, right? Okay, and then you'll move here. So opposite nga directions. So you'll have I3 is equivalent to 4 amps. Yes. So 4 times 6 making it 24 positive. Okay, opposite ng I3. So similar, you have a new yield, a volume of 12 volts. 